Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. So in today's video, what we're going to be going over is creating a night vision system inside of Unreal Engine 5, so it'll allow the player to see in the dark using night vision. Now you notice I've got the scene on unlit at the moment, that's because if I were to make it lit, it is completely pitch black, so we'll go with unlit for the moment here. But let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So you can see again, as I said, it's completely pitch black. If I were to press N, as that's the button I have for me, we can enable night vision, and you can see we can now see in the dark. So it's all green, we can actually see, it's got a bit of a vignette, and it's a bit grainy. So you can really customise this however you want, because I've added all those details on there. You can have whatever colour you want, you can have no grain, you can have more grain, you can have no vignette or more vignette. Again, it's all completely customisable, these are just the effects I've given it to give me this look, as I think this looks best for me. And again, we can toggle this on or off, or you can have it just on if that's what you wanted as well. So again, this is what we're going to be going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our character blueprint. So for me, that's going to be control space, content, third person, blueprints, BP, third person character. For you, this might be third, first, or whatever you've named it. In here, you'll notice I've made this a first person player. So we're not in third person camera, we're in first person. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I just did that to show it off a bit better and if you do want to know how to do that as well I'll leave a link in the description down below and on screen now to my video where I do that. But on with the night vision what we want to do is first select our camera, add a component and we want to add post processing or post process sorry. So as you can see there the post process component enables post process controls for blueprints. So we need to have that there attached to our camera like so and we'll compile and save that. What we want to do next is we want to get in the button we're going to be using to enable or disable our night vision. So for me, I'm going to right click and get the N keyboard event. Again, you can use whatever button you want, or if you want this to be always enabled, do this off of event begin play. Out of this, I'm going to get pressed and then a flip flop so we can toggle it. A will enable night vision, B will disable night vision. So we're now going to get a reference to our camera. Out of this, we're going to set post process settings like so and we want to set post process settings sorry not get so set post process settings and we want to do that in both the values of a and b like so making sure we have the targets all in correctly like so now what we actually want to do for the settings of our post process is we're going to right click the top one promote a variable and i'm going to name this one normal or default pp for post processing and that wants to be in the bottom actually not the top and then for the other one we're going to right click promote a variable name this one night vision pp once again for post processing so you can see when we press n we're going to enable night vision when we press it again we're going to disable night vision so go back to normal we can compile these so we can change these variables about normal we don't need to do anything we can just keep it as it is by default here unless of course you have made some changes in which case you want to put those in this post process variable as well if you haven't, which I imagine you probably haven't by default, we're going to go straight to night vision and make some modifications in here. What we want to do first is we're going to search for scene tint and we're going to change the scene color tint here. So tick it and then we're going to change the color. Again, I'm going to go for a nice green as that's pretty typical with night vision cameras. But obviously, you can use whatever color you want. So I'm going to go for a nice green like that. I think that's going to be good for me. I'm going to press OK. Next, we want to increase the exposure. Now this is what's going to actually enable us to be able to see in the dark. So we want to increase the exposure. So we're going to tick exposure compensation here, or auto exposure bias. And I'm going to set this to a value of 7. You can set this to whatever you like, you can mess up the values to see what works best for you. But from my playing about with it earlier, I found 7 seems to be a good value for me. We're going to compile, save that. What we're going to change next is we want to change the grain. Now again, you don't need to add grain if you don't want to, but I think it just gives it that nice extra effect. So we're going to tick film grain intensity, and I'm going to set this to a value of 0.7. Again, that's what I found earlier was good for me. We also want to add in a vignette, so we're going to search for vignette here. We're going to tick under image effects, vignette intensity, and I'm going to set this to a value of 0.6. And the vignette is basically kind of the black circle that goes around the edges of the screen. So the higher the number, and it goes between 0 and 1, so the closer to 1 it is, the bigger that circle is, and the more intense it is, obviously, so the more you're going to see it. And the final thing we want to add onto here is some bloom. So under bloom, we're going to tick intensity, and I'm going to set this to a value of 1. 
Again, all of these values you can change for you. You don't even need to have any of them on if you don't want. The only one you need enabled for night vision to work is the exposure. All the other ones you don't have to have. And again, even for the exposure, you can change how much or how little exposure we have. So we're gonna compile and save that. And that should now be the code done and working perfectly for us. We've got here enabling and disabling it. And inside of our variable here, we've got all the different effects we want for our post process. Which you can see here, we have all these different options. We've only enabled a few, but you can really do as much as you want. So let's minimize this and hit play to test it out. So again, you see it's pitch black, we can't see a thing. If I had to press N, we're now gonna be able to see in the dark, like so using our night vision. We've got our green tint, we've got our exposure up, we've got our green, and we've got our vignette and our bloom as well. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. What we've done is we've set up a night vision system in which we're gonna be able to enable and disable night vision within our game to be able to actually see in the dark. So this isn't just an effect, it does actually work as well it's functional to allow us to see in the dark using night vision like so. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.